What's going on YouTube, Flamesford here, and the other day I asked you guys on Twitter to use the hashtag AskFlamesford so I could do a little AMA with you all, and I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to go through all these Twitter posts right now, these tweet tweets that you all sent me, and I'm going to answer a few of them, or as many of them as I can, so let's jump right into it. Juve, at Juve EU, asks, do you even lift, bro? Come on, man, you, you for real? At DGX Alpha asks, Dream car and girl. Dream girl for sure is Jennifer Aniston. As she ages, she just keeps getting finer and finer. I was a big fan of hers from back in the day from Friends. I was growing up watching that show. And just to continue seeing her just get sexier and sexier as she gets older, I think is crazy. My dream car isn't really one of those exotic dream cars. I think my dream car would be a 1970s, 19... Yeah, 1970s, I believe. Pontiac GTO, an old-fashioned one, build it from the ground up. I, I, I'm one of those weird people that kind of like to do that type of stuff, so I could kind of see myself possibly doing that in the future for uh, my dream car. It's just an old-school 1970 Pontiac GTO, a.k.a. the GOAT. At II underscore Joker asks, was there a time in your life where you thought about giving up on fitness? If so, why? The answer to that one is going to be no. Fitness to me is huge in my life just because, uh, like I said in the previous old vlog, video I do have something or I did have something called erosive gastrosis which kind of messed up with my stomach and ended up giving me GERD and from that I kind of went into the health freak fitness freak where I make sure that I'm always on top of my game always making sure that I'm as healthy as I can be despite all the traveling as you see I got this little cold from all that past traveling I just have done but fitness has never got to the point where I wanted to give up on it I did have a collarbone injury which I had to give it up for a year and just had to go through physical therapy and all that stuff but as soon as I was good to go again, got right back into it and killed it. Add Hatred AL, do you think Halo 5 will be the revival and bring Halo back to its former glory? To answer that question is a little bit of a tough one because we don't really know what the numbers of back in the day Halo really was uh, for MLG because we never got to see those stream numbers. For attendance wise, it was incredible, right? We were having 256 teams compete, but I don't know if tournament uh, organizations or organized holders really want to throw tournaments with 256 teams because it does take a long long time to do. I do think Halo 5 will be uh, pretty good for Halo. I think the Route 343 is going right now with the HCS League whole thing is going pretty well. The Invitationals are in Season 1 Finals that just happened. That hit I believe 30,000 viewers and the Invitational at the beginning of the year I believe hit close to 40,000 or hit 40,000 on the spot. So we are seeing some good numbers when the big tournaments come around, we just need to show that consistency throughout all the tournaments that lead up to the finals and all those major tournaments. At Graham117, 117, what are the best foods for bulking? I'm trying to keep it healthy too, exclamation point. Best foods for bulking is obviously just eating more food. Uh, people tend to think that losing weight, you have to eat certain foods, gaining weight, you have to eat certain food. It really just comes down to your uh, calorie intake, how much you put in your body versus how much you're using. If you're trying to bulk, you're going to have to put a surplus amount of calories into your body. And for purposes of, of healthy, I mean, just eat more chicken if you're doing chicken. Eat more brown rice if you're eating brown rice. No matter what it is, what you're eating right now, you just have to basically double the amount of food you eat in order to help yourself bulk up. At Adam Bayer 3 asks, how badly is Nate going to regret prank wars? The answer to that one, he's going to regret it really bad because these next pranks I'm about to do, he's going to get really pissed. Nate, it's coming. At Big C Fresh Boy asks, do you really think you can compete in prank wars with Nate Chat? Things like I said I'm about to do are going to be game changer. It's a wrap. At Larkon Lashak. As, as a Halo pro, is it weird living with three other Call of Duty pros? Not at all. I mean, everyone's still a gamer at the end of the day. We all actually play more than just the own game that we play. Obviously, I play Halo Destiny, H1Z1 when I do get the chance. Uh, they all play Minecraft, H1Z1, Call of Duty, GTA. So, it's really just a house full of a bunch of gamers. At J Harma 44 asks, greatest childhood memory? This is... Uh, this would definitely have to be getting my dog when I believe I was, my dog is 15, or turning 15 now I believe, I'm 25, so I got my dog at 10, 11 years old, which definitely has to be my greatest childhood memory just because he's still alive, he's still kicking, I, I get to go see him every time I go back to New Jersey and all that, and to see that he's still there and, and still living and still looking really good is, uh, is awesome for me because, you know, just continuing more than a childhood memory now, it's just been a, a lifetime memory which is awesome. At MLG underscore Tucker asks, how was your first tournament? My first tournament was 2007 Meadowlands. It was close by my house and my parents let me go because they didn't let me travel to the other ones 
because I thought they were going to be like little pedophiles or or people that you know play with little boys and stuff at the uh, tournament when obviously you've all been to tournaments there's no such things as that to all the parents who think that's what goes on at tournaments you all are crazy but my first tournament was great it was a fun experience placing wise was not awesome I got fifth round free for all and I got fourth round of 44 so it was a learning experience as soon as I went though the experience like sold me on me making sure that I wanted to compete and try to become a pro and do whatever I had to do in, in my power to make myself go to tournaments if it was getting a job to get money to travel which is what I did so the initial experience is what sold me captured me into this industry into this environment and uh, I would never take it back for anything in the world at Dasquo I, hopefully I didn't butcher that wrong D-A-S Q-O-H asks, where did you get the name Flamesword? The name Flamesword comes from the Yu-Gi-Oh card game of the Yu-Gi-Oh show. There was a guy in the show called Joey. He had a card called the Flame Swordsman. Flame Swordsman at the time did not fit, I don't believe, or I think I put I tried to put the Flame Swordsman and it didn't fit. So I immediately just cut out Swordsman uh men part and then just ended up with Flame Sword, and that is how I came up with my gamer tag. So I was a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan back like in eighth grade. At SH10783 asks, have you ever thought of what you would have done if Halo or any game like that wouldn't have been made? What have you done? If there were no games that were to be made, I'd probably just be doing the career path that I took in college and, and going, you know, the whole school route. I do have an associate's in information technology and only need eight, nine more classes to get my bachelor's, which I probably will do in my whole professional competitive actually the whole competing uh, thing is, is over just so I could have that degree and they kind of be an accomplishment so that is the route I would take the school route to the work job force and um, probably as, as the internet continue getting bigger how it is now try to obviously make it happen like everyone else does at BBG Nano Nano or Nano N-A-N-O whichever one goes who is your e-girl crush Mmm, girl crush in the uh, in the kind of scene I'd have to say would probably possibly Ava. She's uh, she's actually pretty funny, I think. And then you can never go wrong with a girl who likes craft beer. At Keith P twenty one asks, what three cities in the U S. would you like to see that you haven't been to? Travel definitely a lot, but I have not hit every spot. I haven't hit Denver at all. I think that'd be cool during the winter. Go. Uh, well, I guess you could snowboard pretty much all year long out there. I think I might be totally wrong. Salt Lake City looks amazing. Always want to go out there. My last choice is probably somewhere in Arizona, maybe Scottsdale, Phoenix, somewhere around the Arizona area, so I could uh, finally check that out. Because I mean, everyone that say ASU is a crazy college, and the girls out there are smoking hot, so I had to go out there. At pocket size JS on a scale of one to ten, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? What? At Adam Fomix asks Marvel of DC. Marvel. At King Willie OG asks, besides winning events, what is probably the best experience you ever had? I think one of the best experiences I've ever had in my entire life has been learning how to skydive on my own. That entire process that I went through last year, I think, was just breathtaking. The adrenaline rush you get from jumping out of a plane and, and just free falling is incredible. It is one of the greatest feelings I've ever felt in my life and and just knowing that, you know, I play video games uh, professionally for a living and that allowed me to go into a, a plane and learn how to skydive because of everything I've done through gaming is just incredible. So, hands down, best feeling. I can't wait to finish uh, my uh, license this uh, year, this summer, since I only need five more jumps and I can jump wherever I want in the world, which is going to be awesome. At Formal underscore Sandy asks, are you ever going to grow back the optic beard? I keep getting this question a lot by you all, and the answer to that is definitely. I will definitely grow it out once again. I will let you all know when I do grow it out, but be patient. It will happen at some point, and I will all inform and let you know when it is going to happen. All right, all, so my voice is uh, disappearing. As we all know, I am still a little bit sick, so I do want to heal up because I will be going to Cod Chance, which was a major question a lot of you were all asking. So I'm going to try to continue healing up. So if I see any of you all out there, I don't get any of you all sick. So hope you all enjoy the questions that I did answer. And if you did like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, this is your boy, Flamesburg. I'll see you guys later. Peace.